Good afternoon, everyone. Hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yep. Yeah, Bridie. Hey, Angus. Hey, Leon. Hey, guys. How are we? Great to see you today. All right, we've had a little bit of a break. We had Tuesday afternoon without any sessions. Hopefully, um, you guys have stayed active throughout that time. We had Wednesday morning off as well. You might got, you guys might have done some sessions with you, with your coaches. Um, you know, yesterday yeah. afternoon oh, or yeah. last speakers. Yeah. Tonight or maybe this morning. Um, so today's session, the focus of today's session is 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 our uh, sprint technique. So the session is called first step. <clears throat> We're going to be focusing predominantly on uh, almost like if you did Monday uh, Monday morning session bounce. We're going to be we're going to be focusing on some similar things, but more about sprint technique and takeoff. Okay, so it's more as opposed to going up. It's more about going across. Okay, so you will need a basketball if you have a skipping rope that would be great um just for our warm-up otherwise you'll be okay without one you can just do pogo hops or line hops uh if you've got a resistance band like a larger resistance band i'll just show you guys what that looks like for me i've got like a bungee sort of a cable but you guys might just have a resistance band like a like one of the ones from kmart like a yellow or blue one we may not need that today so don't worry if you don't have that but um, in fact, you can get through the entire program without that for the four weeks because we'll be doing a couple of exercises and you will need a yoga mat, particularly if like me, you're outside right now, okay? Because we'll be doing some warm-up exercises uh, that we're going to be doing from the ground and, and using our yoga mat, even for some of the sprint exercises, we want to work on that takeoff from a really low position and starting from a push-up position or a grounded position is going to help us stay really low okay so hopefully uh you guys have that equipment and you guys are ready to go and we'll get started with a warm-up if anyone has any questions at any stage throughout these sessions the idea is that they are interactive and if you need to chuck on your microphone please do <laughs> hi hamish uh if you need to chuck on your microphone please please do Otherwise, you can use the chat to ask me any questions. We won't need our basketballs for the first part of our warm-up today. We're just going to be doing uh, some skipping, some body weight squats, some skips and arabesques. So if you've got a skipping rope, grab your skipping rope. And we're going to start with 30 seconds of skipping. If you don't have a skipping rope, come to some space. Okay, make sure you've got some space around you to be able to do just your go hops, okay? Otherwise we're into skipping. Here we go for 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds skipping. Nice and easy just to warm up. Not trying to break any world records straight off the bat. Okay, if you've got space but no skipping rope, remember it's just pogo hops on the spot. So what that looks like is just the same movement just without the arms of the skipping rope, or you might have a line in the concrete doing some line hops side to side or to back, okay? If you've got your rope, let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, straight into 10 body weight squats. Okay, body weight squats, remember, we're feet hip distance apart, just like we're shooting a jump shot and we're sitting on our imaginary chair. So sitting our bum down and back and come up for 10. You guys can do this in your own time. Once you've done 10, have a quick rest. Good job, good, good. Okay, I'll use my hands out in front. The reason I put my hands out in front is for a counterbalance. It helps me get a little bit deeper into my squat. Helps me warm up lower, lower limbs a bit better. So you might squat, you might want to have your hands on your head. You might want to have your hands out high and out wide, it's up to you. Okay, once we've done 10, the next exercise is our A skip. So our A skip, this is a really good, and we did this on Monday's session, but it's just a great sprint technique exercise as well. So what the A skip looks like is I'm gonna start with my left knee up. Okay, so I'm on my right foot. Okay, and we're here and we're driving and we're bouncing twice. Okay, so if I start with my left foot up, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna push my left foot down as I swing 
my left through and up and I'm going to bounce twice and then I'm going to swing right down, bounce twice and come back up. All right, so at full speed, what it looks like is bounce, bounce. So it's just skipping on the spot, but it's working on that knee drive, okay? Really good sprint technique exercise. We're going to go for 30 seconds here. So think about it. This exercise might take a little while for you guys to get going. The best way to probably learn it is to just skip. Okay, so if you just skip, if it's easier for you to skip across some space, think of skipping. So one, two, just adding that little bounce in, but just getting that knee drive. So if it's easier for you to do it moving across whatever space you have, do your A skips moving from side to side, whatever space you've got. I'm going to do them on the spot, whatever works for you. Here we go. Three, two, one. So A skips, driving arms and driving knees. So that's that. Again, that heel is not striking the ground. We're staying on the balls of our feet. And that knee drive is really important. Swinging that arm up and through. And that arm drive back simultaneously. Really important for sprint technique. In 10 seconds, balls to your feet. Beautiful day outside today. Hopefully you guys are outside making the most of it. Three, two, one. Awesome. Arabesques. Okay, so our warm up, you can see we pair like a technique exercise or something like skipping and get our heart rate up with something that's gonna stretch usually our lower body, but also work our core. So arabesques, single leg. Again, I'm gonna start left knee up, kicking that left leg out behind me. Let's do five on each side, okay? Five on each side. So I'm penduluming, swinging my leg back, keeping that off leg active, and my chest comes to the ground. So I'm here, again, you might want to go wide with your arm, you might want to go Superman, whatever is your preference. Here we go. Apologies if you can hear my dog barking in the background. Anytime someone walks past, <laughs> she goes nuts. Okay, now I'm on my left leg, so I've got my right knee up, driving my right knee. That knee drive is going to be a theme for today as we work on sprint technique. Swing that leg through, kick it back strong, chest to ground. Swing it through and up, five on each leg, then grab a drink. Okay, if you're still working through this, take your time. If you're done, it's not a race, so you don't have to tell me you're done. <laughs> We want quality. We're not worried about how quickly we get it done. Five on each leg. Okay, first exercise. We're gonna do some core. So we are gonna to come to our mat for our glute bridges and side plank. Okay, glute bridges, side plank. We're doing some activation and we're doing some lunge technique as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, as I usually do when we're doing some core stuff, it gives me a good opportunity to not only do the exercise, but to shift my laptop to a position where I can actually see you guys pretty clearly because I'm not jumping around at the same time as you. Grab your mats, grab your yoga mats. Oh no, my basketball's gone under the car. Okay, grab your yoga mats, lay those out. Lay those out. We're gonna start with our glute bridges. so. For those that haven't done glute bridges before, we'll do a really quick demo. For those that have, you can get started on them if you're confident. We're doing 10 glute bridges to warm up. Again, activating those muscles of our core, which our glutes are the biggest one. We're starting flat on our back. Our feet are flat on the ground, our knees are up. If you're not sure how far feet or your heels should be from your body, you should be able to twist to one side just, just tap, okay? If you can twist to one side and tap your heels, that's far enough. If your feet are out too far, I'm not gonna be able to tap my heels, okay? If they're too close, I don't even have to twist to tap my heels. That's, that's, that's my feet are too close. So about here, I have to twist to the side, okay? From here, all we're doing pretty simple is we're just squeezing our glutes up until we get a straight line all the way from our knee down to our shoulder. We're gonna do 10 of these. You can do these at your own pace. 
Then we're into a side plank for 30 seconds on either side. Again, so we're activating those big muscles of our core because they're the ones that are going to really get us that, that, that explosiveness in our, in our sprint takeoff, okay? As we try and blow by a defender and get that explosive first step. So once you've done 10, squeezing glutes at the top, coming down slowly, flat back on the ground or on the mat, squeeze glutes up to the top. Good work. Once you've done 10, we're going to get onto our side and we're into a side plank. Okay, so we've got our elbow under our shoulder. Elbow under our shoulder here. Great work, guys. No rush. If you're still finishing off your glute bridges, finish those off. Now we're into our side plank for 30 seconds. Here we go. So you can do this again. You can go knees. As long as your hips are off the ground, you can go knees stacked on top, feet stacked on top. I'm going to do feet. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we should have our elbow directly underneath our shoulder. You can reposition if you need to. Again, we don't want to have our hips sagging down low. We don't want to have them sitting up too high. Straight line here, all the way down the middle. Almost like I imagine I've got a broomstick all the way from my head to my heel. Here we go, 10 seconds. Hold strong here. We should feel that. We should be starting to feel that in the side of our core here, the one closest to the ground. Great job, guys. Well done, Grace. Good job, Lockie Birham. Good job, Riley. Good job, Cody. Okay, come down. Rotate, other side. Okay, so I was on my left elbow now. I'm going to jump onto my right elbow. Here we go. Stack our feet, ready to come up. Three, two, one. Up we come. Too easy for Caleb. He's got time to fix his hair. Good job, Caleb. <laughs> Here we go. Good job, Alul. The, th the, the three brothers and sisters there. Great job. Again, if you want a bit of an extra challenge, you can go with that hand up. If you want a bit of an extra challenge, you can even lift that leg up and get a little bit of a hip action into that as well. I'm not, I'm not that hardcore. I'm not going to be doing that today. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, three. One, come down. Great job. Okay. We've got a couple more exercises down here, and then I swear we're going to get moving. So we'll be done with these in a second. We've got our dead bug rocker, which we did. Uh, again, if you did the bounce session on Monday, we did the dead bug rocker on Monday. So it is pretty simple. It, you look like a dead bug while you're doing the exercise. So we're on our back. Good job. On our back, we've got our knees directly up from our hips here and our hands straight up in the air. All right, our hands straight up. All right, if I drop my right leg, I drop my, oh, sorry, my left leg. I always do this. If I drop my left leg, I drop my right hand. So it's opposite leg to hand, okay? Then I drop my right leg and my left arm. Once I've done both sides, so if I go left leg, right leg, then I... I'm just going to rock up, a little sit up, touch my heels to the ground and come back down. We're doing 10 of those. So one, two, and then I rock up. That's total. Okay, so we're doing so there. So left foot down, right foot down, rock up. There's three. Okay, keep going. I'm going to keep an eye on you guys here. Ava, that's perfect. Arms straight up to the sky. I know it's a little bit hard sometimes. Good job, Alessandra. That's perfect. And then just rock up like a little sit up. Good job, Tate. Good job, Aiden. So that rock up is just gentle and controlled. Good job, Laney and Alana. I can see Adam there doing traffic. Well done. Redos. We've got Redos today. And Matt. <laughs> Have a look at him. Good job, mate. So Matt, it's not just lying down. Oh, no, it's not Matt. Who is it? Who's with you, Reed? Who's there? Is that an older brother? Hey, yeah. hey mate. How are you? <laughs> Colton, good job. So 10 total, Alex and Ben, good work. So 10 total. So I'm going to come back down for the last couple. Here, opposite hand, opposite leg. So there is a little bit of a coordination aspect. We swing our heels down. So a bit of a sit-up motion. Right hand back, left hand back. 
swing through. Once you've done 10, have a breather. Good job, HG. HG girls, well done. Love it. Alex and Ben, have a breather, have a drink. Anakin crew, good job. Mostly, good job, Zave. Most of us are finishing up now. All right, so the next stretch we've got is called the world's greatest. So it's a bit of a lunge. We're starting to get our core working a little bit. Um, so we're working into a lunge position. So again, you can come onto your mat. That's okay. It's not going to, if you're on a mat or if, if you're on concrete, it's not going to matter too much for this one. Okay, so world's greatest. I'm going to start with my right leg. We'll probably only do three total here. So one on each leg will count for one. So I'm going to step forward with my right leg, but I don't want to come too far forward. Okay, I'm going to come into that lunge, but I'm going to keep my back leg straight. Okay, so when I say lunge, I'm bringing my hands down on the inside of my knee, okay? So you guys looking at the camera here, that's my right leg. My right elbow needs to be on the inside of my right knee. All right, so what that looks like from the front on here is I'm here, my right elbow comes on the inside. And if you can just get your fingertips to the ground, that's fine. From here, I'm trying to keep my back leg straight, my left leg. From here, I'm keeping my left hand down and I'm twisting and I'm rotating and I'm pointing that right hand up to the sky. So the hand or the arm that's closest to my knee is lifting up and out and I'm getting a good trunk rotation. Just pause for a second, looking up at the sky with my arm pointing up and I come back down. Before I stand up, I'm just gonna try and straighten that front leg a little bit. Now be really gentle with that because it's a pretty intense sort of a hamstring stretch. We've got our hands down between our legs and we just straighten that front leg gently. All right, and then you can stand up and push back and do the other side. All right, I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to do my left leg now. So I'm going to step forward my left. Again, that front knee can be bent. So this is my left knee now can be bent. My left elbow needs to graze the inside of my left knee as I come down to my fingertips. This time I'm going to turn. I'm going to use my left hand and I'm going to turn the same way as that front leg and look up at the sky and point my hand up. Fingertips back to the ground. Straighten that left leg gently because it's a pretty intense hamstring stretch and then stand up straight. All right, you guys keep going. I'm going to watch you guys do a few of these because it is pretty uh, detailed. Yep, perfect, Riley Noble. Good job. Yep, rotating the right way. Good job, Caleb. Storing, good job. Good bow. Bow and Harley, it looks like today. We're going to do three on each leg. Three on each leg. How are we doing there? Can't see everyone, Matita. It looks like you're doing the right thing. Bring those hands down between the ground. Make sure you keep that left hand down, Matita. Well done. Good job, Matt. Abel. Well done. Let's rotate back through. Richard. Good job, Richard. Good job. Good job, Jack. Jack A. Well done, Colton. Good, Zave. Good. Get that little stretch. Good Zach. Good, Leon. Yep. It's a bit tricky because you, you, you're actually twisting. Good job, Ava. Well done. You're actually twisting, rotating that same leg that's forward is the one. That's where you're going to turn and rotate. Good, Aiden. So that, that left arm's the one that'll swing up now and point to the sky. Other way, mate. Other way. Other way, Aiden. So it'll be, it'll be your other hand. Point and look. Yep, that's it. Point it straight up to the sky. Good boy. Once you've done three on either leg, don't mind Ben just running through the shot there. Once you've done three on either leg, grab a drink, okay? Because we're into our session now. So we're going to get moving pretty quickly into our session. Some of you I can see are inside, which is fine. Okay, some of you are outside, which is great as well. Anything then do to build into this session to make it more enjoyable for yourself and more engaging for yourself, please do it. If you want to get out near your hoop, please get out near your hoop. If you, if you have that available to you, by all means, get out near your hoop, okay? Because a lot of what we're doing is we are working on explosive first steps, okay? We're working on, on some sprint takeoff, but there's a fair bit of it that we're gonna have, we're gonna have breaks in between and you might finish the exercises quicker than others. And if you can get some shots up during that time, that is, that's massive, okay? And then the last part of our session is basketball specific, where you can do each of the moves that we do or each of the exercises we do can go straight into a layup or whatever you would like to finish with, okay? 
So the first exercise we have is an exercise. It's a, we're doing two exercises together. It's a bit of a what we call a superset. And if you guys are checking out the, um, the session plans at any stage later in the day or tomorrow to follow and, and do the session again or the day after, a superset means that we do we do one exercise, then the other, and then we take a break. Okay. So the first superset, two exercises, is called a split stick takeoff. Split stick takeoff. And the second exercise is called a groove step. Okay, so we're not going to need our mats for this one. Don't toss them away too far though. I'm going to put mine on the back of my car. Handy, because we will need it again later. So the split stick takeoff. All right, five on either side. We're going to start on our right leg. What that looks like, the split stick takeoff, is we go from standing still. Okay, we go from standing still, just standing straight up. We're going we're gonna to split our legs. So we're going to come into like a little jump lunge. So again, it's a little bit of coordination, a little bit of footwork. So from the side, we'll come to a split. Okay, from the split, we come back to a stick on one leg. Okay, so from front on, we go feet together, split our feet, come back to a single leg. So on my right leg, so I go split, stick, take off sideways. Okay, that's what it looks like. We do five on either leg. So if I'm on my right leg here, I know in the camera it looks like it's my left leg, but it's my right foot. I'm going split with my right foot forward, stick on my right leg, single leg. I've got to balance, get, 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 get balance, and then take off. What if it full speed? Split, stick, take off, and land on that left leg. Okay? Split, stick, take off. Okay, so we're trying to get explosive here. We're starting to build up our session a little bit. We're getting into some footwork. I've got my knees bent, split stick, take off. So that, that stick, that single leg stick is very quick. And then we're pushing off as soon as our foot hits the ground. So we're working on that first step explosiveness again. So if I'm here, so I come into, I'll go side on. So I go split into like a little jump lunge. Then I bring my leg back and I land on my right leg. Take off and on my left. So five on either side. I'm going to do a couple full speed. In case you're still watching, when it comes to the camera and keep an eye on you guys. Okay, there's two. Split, stick, take off. That's three. Now I'm going to go left. So left foot forward, stick on my left, take off, land on my right. Bit confusing. Okay, it's not a race. Get through these in your own time. Split, stick. Take off. Good job. Everyone's going to do these at their own pace. Good, Riley. So it's like a little scissor jump. Good. Callahan's well done. What well done, Bridie. Awesome. Yep. So whichever leg you lead with, well done. Good job. Nobles, well done. So whichever leg you lead with is the leg that you should be taking off with. So if you're starting on your right leg, okay, if I'm split stance, okay, so I'm here. I split with my right leg forward. I stick with my right leg and I push off with my right leg and land on my left. So I can see a couple of you guys, you split stick, you split right leg, but then you're sticking on your left and you're taking off with your left leg. It, it's, it's all a bit confusing, but that's okay. It's week one. I wouldn't expect to get it perfect. Anything you're doing is better than nothing. Show me what you got, Matita. Good. The idea here is we're trying to explode as far laterally as we possibly can. Okay, this is really good to practice our landing. Try and stick that landing. Good job. Good job, Menzi. Good, good. Explosive off to the side. Awesome. Once you've done five, I'll take you through our next exercise. We're going to do two sets of this. Okay, so our next exercise, because it's a super set, <laughs> our next exercise is laugh at Jared as he crawls under his car to get his basketball. There we go. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So we've got our groove step. Okay. So, so much of today's session is going to be about step. Okay. Trying to blow by our defender. Okay. This groove step, it's a bit funky, but trust me, it's important to get the, the balance of our body. So what I want you to do is we're going to go 10 on our right, 10 on our left. I just want you to grab your basketball. Okay. You've got your basketball now. 
we're down in a triple threat. I just want you to jab with your right foot slightly forward, okay? So as if you were, as if you were jab step about to take off past your defender, I want you to stay in this position. And what our groove step is, is we're just going to rock it our weight back and forth. Okay, so you're starting to warm up your hips a little bit. I know it's a bit of a funky movement, but it'll make sense when we start to build into sprint takeoffs later. So we're doing 10 rock back and forth. So if I start from here, rock forward, rock back, there's one, rock forward, rock back, there's two. From the side, what it looks like, I'm on the ball of my left foot because I've jabbed forward with my right foot. I rock my weight forward, I rock my weight back. I'm stretching that Achilles out a little bit. I can even swing the ball across a little bit if I want to. Okay, I start to feel that burn a little bit in that front leg and I push back. Okay, so we call this a rock, like a bit of a rocker step. We're just working on that groove step now. Once you've done 10 on your right, then I want you to put your left foot forward. So as if you've just caught the ball in triple third, jabbed with your left foot, but I want you to keep your feet down now, stay in that position. If you're doing this properly, you should start to feel a bit of a, you should start to feel a bit of mobility in your hips as well. Okay, so we're sort of starting to stretch our hips and work them for, through a full range of motion. You might even start to feel because you're pushing up onto that back foot. Okay, so you can see my right foot here. As I push forward, I'm stretching that Achilles coming onto that front leg. We're doing 10 of those and then we're going to come back to our split stick takeoff. So once you've done 10 of those, grab a drink. I'm going to change our split stick takeoff. Okay, so finish off your rocker steps if you're still going. Good job, Bridie. Some of the Jenkins crew, good job. Now with our split stick takeoff, because this is all about first step, sprint, sprint takeoff, is we're going to split, okay? Split, stick, takeoff forward, okay? So now we're starting to build into a sprint. So you can do this. It's up to you. You can even go into a sprint here. Okay? So I've got my hoop here. You can't quite see the hoop. And then I've got my driveway. So I might actually now go split, stick, take off, and go into a little bit of a sprint. Some of you guys might not have been able to see me then. I was that quick. But we go split. Thanks for the second, Jared. Bye. Stick. See you, mate. No worries. We go split, stick, and we're taking off forward now into a sprint. Okay, so split, stick, take off. Here we go. So we're doing five on each leg still here. Good job. Excellent. Split, take off. Really sprint, take off, Matty Pole Glaze. Okay, so if you don't, don't go through the motions with these exercises, even if it's only just one explosive push off with that leg. Okay, but there's no point doing this exercise and going split, stick, take off. Okay, I mean, there is a point to it because we're outside. It's a beautiful day. So better than nothing. But to really improve that first step and make it game specific, it's split, stick, take off. Okay, and try and take off nice and low. Five on each leg. So left leg now, split, stick, take off. Okay. Here we go. I'm coming to the camera. Let's go, Colton. Let's go, HGs. Good job. You can do that explosive one step. Good job. Awesome. Hannigan's well done. Good, Zach. Here we go. You've got someone next to you. If you're doing this with a brother or sister, what a perfect opportunity to have a little, have a little race. So start at the same time. You can, you can make it competitive. You can either go split, stick, and see if you can jump the furthest in one jump or make it a race to the end of the driveway or the, the key if you've got a basketball court there. Okay, split, stick, and take off. Okay, so we're not just testing sprint takeoff here. So little brothers, little sisters might have an opportunity to get a win on big bro and big, big sister because it's about the speed of the footwork as well. Great work. Once you've done that, five on each side, we're going to groove step again. Groove step. Yeah, so I'm in triple threat. Jab forward slightly, right leg here, and I'm grooving back and forth. I'm just wrapping that ball. No worries, Molly. See you, mate. You can always come back. If you guys have got to go, that's no stress. You can always come back to these recordings 
And the session plans will be uploaded later as well. So you can always come back and re-watch this, skip through me talking dribble like I am right now and just check out each exercise. So groove step, right foot slightly forward, pushing back, pushing back, pushing forward. Yeah, so we're getting that left Achilles, it's pushing off, doing a little bit of work. That right knee's taking the weight. And you can rock the ball across like so, yeah? Because we are about to move into some first step stuff with our hoops here. If you're lucky enough to have a hoop and you can work on that. I'm left leg forward here. So now I'm groove step, push back forward, push back forward. And you can see my back heel comes almost down to the ground and then I push up onto that ball of the foot again. Jared, I'm going to move that side. Yeah, no worries. Who was that? Yeah. Oh, right. oh Bo and Harley. Yeah, yeah, go Bo delicious. Move to your hoop. Bo delicious. <laughs> yep, no worries. Okay, so once we've done our groove step, grab a drink. Grab a drink. That's what we call them, Bo delicious. So delicious. That's what you call them. All right. Good job, Chase. So delicious. I like it. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. We have one more superset before we get into our basketball specific stuff. So our next superset. <laughs> Callahan's are still. There we go. <laughs> the next exercise we've got is a broad jump. And then one of my personal favorite, you guys know I love broad jumps. So a broad jump, we'll go through that exercise. And then we've got a push up into sprint takeoff. So again, we're trying to get a blend of sprint, sprint technique work, which is hard through Zoom, um, but also some basketball specific stuff. So our broad jump, for those that don't remember, is we start here. We start three, we're on two legs. I like to start this movement. I'll move back so you can see my whole body. I like to start this movement up on my toes with my arms up as high as I can to get a full momentum as I swing my arms down and back and I sit back into a deep squat and then I throw my arms and I land and jump forward, okay? That's our broad jump. And this is the exercise. Again, you don't have to do it now. And depending on your ability level, you don't have to do it at any point through this program. But I know we've got some 16s in here, possibly even some 18s. You can add, and this is where the, the, um, the resistance band comes into it. Chest and span around your waist. If you've got a, a, a smaller resistance band, sorry, like a little bit of thinner one. Okay, you can see here, I've got my resistance band around my carport pole here. Okay, and that just, again, as long as it's safe for you to do so, have it around your hips, so exact same movement, but it's just, I've got a little bit of tension on me now. I'm up onto my toes, hands straight up, swing my arms back and I jump forward, okay? And that's just giving me that extra resistance. I have to explode off the mark here. So I'm really working on that takeoff, all right? So with our broad jumps, with our broad jumps, we're gonna do, how many are we gonna do? Broad jumps, we've got five, five broad jumps. So most of you should have already done five. Have a rest. We're going to go two sets. And our next exercise, you can grab your mat if you need it. One of my absolute personal favorites. Absolute favorites is a push off, a push up, sorry, push up to sprint takeoff. Okay, so if you want to use the mat, if you're somewhere that's outdoors, it's a bit dirty and grubby, you can. Otherwise, you don't need a mat. You're not going to be lying on the ground necessarily. You're just going to do a push up. I'll show you this movement. This one, we're gonna do five on either leg, five on either leg. So we're gonna go into a push up, just a single push up. As soon as you get to the top, we're in our push up position here. And this is to help with sprint technique, okay? This is to help us get really low in that sprint technique. We go down into a push up. As soon as we come up, we take off into a sprint, all right? So the way you do five on either leg, is I just took off my right leg. So what that looks like is I push up and then I go and I push off my right leg. All right, and I'm trying to explode out. Again, if you're indoors, if you're indoors, you don't have a lot of space. You might just do one or two steps, that's fine. Okay, you don't have to do this on a yoga mat either. You might just have the ground. But what we're looking for here, and I'll do it from the side, I'll get my, get my mat out of the way again. 
what the push up to takeoff forces us to do is it forces us to get that really low sprint position. Yeah. So I do a push up, I come up and I'm instantly into a takeoff. Okay. It's reactive, it's explosive, and it gets me into this position here that sort of sprint takeoff position, really low. That's what we're looking for. So five on either leg here. I'm gonna come and watch you guys. Give you your best shot. We're gonna do two sets, but we've got another. We go back to our broad jump. Good job, Richard. Let's go, Jack, get down low, mate. Down to that push up, down, up, take off, boy. Bang, explosive. Good job, Tate. Good Alessandra, good Zave, awesome. Explosive, Zave, well done. So if you're lucky, good job, Maddie. Maddie Shacklock, good work. If you're lucky to have a bit of space in front of you here, you can really work on that takeoff and stride out. Stride right out. So I'm in my driveway here, so I'm pretty lucky. I'll just go running out into the street here, make sure there's no cars around. All right, push off. I'm going to go left leg this time. Oh, slip. <laughs> False start. Too explosive for the ground, okay? So just be careful it's not slippery where you are. All right, push up. Left leg take off. Okay. Once you've done five, grab a quick drink. We're back in broad jumps. Quick drink, back into a set of broad jumps. One more set of push up to take off and then we're into our basketball specific. If you've got any questions while we have a breather, while we have a break, is a good time to chuck them in the chat and fire away. We don't have long to go here. We're going to get into our broad jumps straight away once you've done your push up to take off. I'm going to leave my resistance band for now. I'm just going to do my broad jumps here on the spot. So I'm up nice and high. Remember, we come up onto our toes, arms up high, swing arms back and through, take off. Five of the best. Who's that? Oh, trivia. <laughs> no trivia, mate. Not today, not just yet. Not just yet. We're focusing on. We're, we're, we're locking in here. We're trivia maybe next week, maybe the week. We'll see. We'll see. Here we go. So draw a jump. Trivia maybe next week. We're going to have some fun. I agree. We probably do need to bring the trivia back, but I'm having, I'm having enough trouble getting through all these exercises as it is on time without trivia. So there's a lot to get through, a lot we can work on here, even though... We're still in lockdown. Yeah, we're still working. We're still getting better. We're working on things. The beauty of the lockdown is the silver lining, I should say, is we're working on things we maybe otherwise wouldn't put a heap of time into working on. You know, consciously working on sprint takeoff. Constantly working on our plyometrics. You know, you guys have got a session tomorrow afternoon. all on finishing and footwork, F and F with Ben Perry from our youth league team. Benny Perry's gonna take that session. So if you've done your broad jumps, now you're into your push up to take off. Tomorrow morning, there's another fitness session if you wanna do that one. That's with our youth league captain, our big V captain, Liam Doyle Toombs gonna to take that. Similar to Tuesday's session, but it's a little bit, you'll get a little bit more huff and puff. It's a bit more about cardio. Tuesday's session with me is some strength and core. Tomorrow with Liam, just go, go, go. Fourth quarter fitness. We're just trying to get, get that heart rate up, get you, get you suck and wind. All right, push up to take off. Let's go now. We don't have long to go in this session. I want to get to the basketball specific. So push off, take off. Really low, really explosive. Here we go. Push up. I'm going on the left side now. Good job. Here we go. Let's work. How's everyone doing with that? Let's go, Callahan's. Good, good. Get a full push up in if you can. If you're not, if you're not like great at push ups, don't don't focus too much on the push up part of this movement. Just to let you guys know, I am still here. I'm just looking at the laptop. So don't don't focus too much on the push up. If you're not great at push ups, just come to that top of a push up position, and you can still work on your explosive takeoff. Job, Alex. That Alex, who's quicker? Alex or Riley? Noble boys, who's quicker? Let's get a race. Get them going at the same time. Good job, Richard. Well done. Zara, there you go. Take off. All in one movement. Well done. Who's quicker? Same time. Let's go. Yes, this is what we wanted. Yeah, here we go. Push up, go. Oh. 
I don't know. Riley's closer to the camera. It's harder to tell. Good job. Good job, Alul's. Good job, Scout. So try and sprint at the camera. Sprint at me, Scout. You don't take off on the spot. I really want you to try and stride out here. If you're done, grab a drink and we're into our basketball specific in a second. Good job, Aiden. Good job. Oh, there's Alex. Okay, now Alex is closer to the camera. I've got two cameras going. Now you might win this one, Alex, because I can see your camera on my second page. Grabbing a drink, guys, if you've got any questions, fire away. Otherwise, we're going to finish off. We're going to finish off with a LeBron stance dribble and takeoff. So if you want to use your hoop, I'm going to, I'm going to show you this with my hoop. See you later. See you, Laney and Lana. See you, guys. If you've got to go, you've got to go. No stress. We're going to build into our basketball specific here. So each week, we'll finish in. We will finish in two minutes. Quarter past five. All of our sessions are 45, 45 minutes except for mobility. Except for our mobility. Okay, so I've got my hoop here. But you guys can exercise to dribble and attack a hoop. We're just in a LeBron stance. Okay, so what that means for anyone that doesn't know, it's just a, just a cheeky term. It's very similar to our groove step position. So we're in our LeBron stance, okay, which is like this stance here. Okay, take off low. Anyone that talks about LeBron, you hear coaches talk about LeBron, he plays in straight lines. What that means is he sees your hips, right? He sees your hips and shoulders as a defender like that. And he wants to go straight lines. He attacks at your hip, okay? He doesn't go around you. He actually attacks straight at your hip, makes you open up. So I'm going to start on my right leg here. I'm in a LeBron stance, okay? All we're doing is we're going to go one or two dribbles. So I'm going to go left hand first. One, two, three. Take off into a layup. All right, you can do that into a layup. You can do that just into a, if you don't have a, if, if you don't have a hoop, you can just do that on the spot. So again, I'm, I'm staying low in a LeBron stance, pretty similar to our groove, our groove step here. But I've got my left leg back. I'm going to go one, two, three, push off. All right, on that third, third dribble, or however many dribbles you want to take, we take off. So again, LeBron step. You could go through the legs. You could go one, ooh, handles. One, two, three, take off. Okay, and you can take off on your right hand. You can dribble with your right hand, but let's do let's do five on either side, left foot back. So five with our left foot back. So one, two, three, push off, and five on our right leg. And again, if you've got a hoop like I do, right here, I'm lucky enough to have one in the front yard, move into a dribble move. One, two, three, push off, and come into a finish. Okay, mix that up and come into different finishes. Let's finish off this session well. Five on each side. One, two, good, Hamish. Good, good. Really stride that out though, Hamish. I know you don't, may not have a lot of space, but really take off into one or two steps. So don't go straight into that crossover. Go straight into a take and finish. Good job, Redos. Good job, HG. See you, Ivan. See you, mate. Good on you. Good job, guys. Nearly finished, guys. So five on either leg. Good, good, Riley. Sprint takeoff into a finish. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Take off, Alex. Well done. So, again, similar to Monday's session, this isn't going to be a big, it's not going to get your heart rate up really high. It's not even a lot of basketball, but it's some really important sprint takeoff stuff. Let's go, Matty Shacklock. Down low. Boom. Yep. Dunk it. Nice. I like it. Good, Eleanor. Well done, Eleanor. Good job. Good job, Mia. Stay down nice and low. So the key to this exercise, good job, Mabel. Key to this exercise is that LeBron stance, we're low. Yeah, we're here. One, two, three, boom. Take off. It's that first step. Now we're putting into practice all the stuff we've worked on in the session. So we did our groove step back and forth. Now we're going one, two, three, take off. Yeah? Putting it into practice. Good job. If you've done that, grab a quick drink. That's going to be, that's going to bring us to the end of the session there. Finish that off there. Good job, Menzi. Good job, Bridie. That's it. Good. Even if you've only got a little bit of space, you might be in your garage. Um, you might be in a shed. For this exercise, it could be as simple as one, two, three, push off one step and come to a stop. In fact, that's probably going to help you more in the long run anyway, because we're doing that sprint takeoff and we're coming to that quick stop. See you, Xavier. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the session today. 
but it doesn't have to be the end of the workout, all right? Sun's out. It's a beautiful day. Go and get some shots up. We've got tomorrow morning at 7.30 with Liam Doyle Tombs. Oh, I lost my AirPod. We've got 7.30 tomorrow morning for another fitness. 4.30 tomorrow afternoon is finishing. Okay, so we're working on footwork, finishing, different finishing moves around the basket with Ben Perry. And then Friday, Friday we've got a great session with Lockie Barker. Uh, Lockie Barker is going to take a shot doctor session. So it's all about shooting technique. That's, again, that's going to be quality over quantity. And then uh, Saturday morning to finish off the week with Tommy Garrett. Thank so you. Some of our NBL one best and big V players. And then we'll get Thank some more you. players involved Thank next you, week. No worries, guys. Bye. Thank See you later. You, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining Thank you. Bye. Good on you, Raph. See you, Kiara. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, Hayley. You're right, Zara. Good on you, Zara. Thanks, Raph. Thank you, Jared. Thanks, Jared. No worries. Thanks, See you, Brody. Jared. See you, Hamish. Bye. Thanks, Jared. Aiden. See you later, Aiden. See you, Aaron. See you guys. Good on you. See you, Aiden. See you, Alex. See you, Aaron. See you, Lucas. Thanks, guys. Laters. <laughs> See you, Alex. <laughs> See you, mate. I think Riley beat you, mate.